This time we're going to start differently. I'm going to start by showing you how a final report looks like. And now we're going to go deeper into the organic metrics. So let's take a look to the Facebook Insights. Keep in mind that you always have to integrate a title to every single report or every single piece of information that you are providing to a specific team. It doesn't matter what is the audience, but probably you want to start by creating some analysis around your main KPIs and your main objectives as um, the communication campaigns. So for example, here we have an overview and also I have here the period that we are going to analyze. And this time I'm going to create a report for the 6th of July to the 2nd of August. So here I have all the information in an overview. In this section, I'm going to show uh, all my readers at a glance the principal metrics that are important to understand the performance of our campaigns or our content strategy. So first, I have uh, here integrated some impressions, the rich frequency of the content that I post in my social media. Specifically here, I have uh, Facebook Insights in one of my pages. And I also integrated this metric that is the engagement rate and also the page total followers. To continue with this story, I'm going to show you what it is important to me to show uh, the impressions break down by viral impressions and non-viral impressions. And this is for a reason, because if you integrate uh, or if you manage campaigns with influencers or content creators, you probably here um, have more shares of the content. So here is important to understand what are the main impressions that you are getting in a determined period of time. And here you also have a different metric or a different graph. In this case, I'm showing you in a bar chart, the total impressions, the relation that it has with the total reach and also the frequency. So here I understand if probably my frequency goes down, some of my metrics do um, the same or have, they have the same behavior. After this, I'm going to show every single piece of content or here I only have the content that is more relevant to me to understand the performance in terms of engagement rate or in terms of clicks. What is the difference here and why I try to display both of them? Well, first, because the engagement, it is showing me or indicating what is the performance of the pieces of content that I share in terms of interactions. So this metric can be calculated and I'm going to show you how to integrate this calculated field in just a few minutes. And this because uh, the clicks are important if you run campaigns. So for example, you have a website or you have a, a marketplace and you want to send people to visit your store. So probably here for you, it is more important to track all this information or all this content that is performing as expected in terms of clicks. And here by views. By views, you have all the video content pieces that you have produced during the specific time frame, and also the performance in terms of the VDR, uh, which is the view through rate. So this metric is also calculated, uh, taking into account the total views of the video divided by the uh, number of the people reach. Now let's go to the second page. The second page, it is showing me the performance of the contents. So let's take a look at all of the metrics that are important for me to understand all the performance in terms of engagement, in terms of consumption of every single piece of content. For this second page, I created a different title. This is the content performance analysis. And here I try to include different filters that are helping me to understand the performance of specific types of um, posts. So for example, here I have some videos, I have albums. So this is uh, a pretty 
interesting tool because you can just filter and read the metrics in terms of the pieces of content that you have produced during the time you are reporting. And here I also have an overview. This overview is showing me the impressions, the reach of the post, the total post that I have created or shared during this time, and also the post engagements and this metric that is also calculated and is called engagement rate. Here I have a um, different analysis. So this analysis is helping me to understand what are or how many organic impressions I had compared to the engagement rate. So if it has relation probably is because I am creating relevant content. So when higher my engagement rate and higher my impressions, um, it means that probably my content, it is uh, relevant to my audience. And here I have interactions by type. So I have some uh, post clicks, I po uh, post reactions, post shares, uh, post comments, and I have the information in only one chart. Then I have the engagement rate by type of post. So this, um, this analysis is also helpful to understand what are the next actions or what are the um, different pieces of content that I have to produce in the future. Then I integrated here a table and this table I'm showing the or displaying this content by engagement rate, by uh, post engagement, by total impressions, by total post. And here I have this analysis and you can also add um, a sort for this table so you can visualize them from those that are performing as you expect or um, those that probably you need to put extra elbow grease on the creation of this content. Now that you understand what type of metrics are the most common to integrate in a Facebook Insights report, I really want to invite you to create your own highlights. So that's why I created this box of text here to try to write every single piece of content analyzed and how you interpret that and how you share that with your team. What are the next actions that your people or the team you work with, they need to implement here in order to create more relevant content and more, and more meaningful interactions. Now I'm going to show you how I created this report and also I'm going to share some of my hacks to create these tables, analysis, and of course share with you also this template for you to create your own report. This report was created on Google Data Studio. So to create those charts and to be able to pull the information automatically, I used a connector. So here you will find some connectors that are for free. So for example, all the Google products are for free uh, with an exception, which is Google uh, Business Profile. And I also have a video here in my channel. So probably you want to take a look at this video if you own a local business. Some other connectors are the community connectors and these are not free connectors. So you probably have to pay for them to be able to pull information directly from the API of your Facebook, your Twitter, Instagram account, you name them. But here you will find some providers and um, the connector that I used for this report was the Facebook Insights connector created by Porter Metrics. With this connector, you have a 14 day trial. So take the maximum advantage of this connector with all the fields that, it, that are included here. If you want to find more information about this connector and the free trial, go to portermetrics.com and uh, discover here more under the product section. Click here on connectors and you will find this and all the connectors available for you to be able to pull the information from your social media. I use this Facebook Insights connector for Google Data Studio. When you click here on make a free report, you will be redirected and connected automatically with your Gmail account. So here I only have to wait for the authentication message, select my account, 
connect my data sources and all set. Once this message is displayed, you are able to pull the information. And in this step, I'm going to select the accounts I want to integrate in my report. Click here and connect, allow. And when you create your first report, you're going to be able to download a template automatically. So you don't have to think twice about uh, how many metrics or what are the metrics that you need to integrate to your report. But here you can understand and read what are the definitions of every single uh, field that is integrated in this connector. So probably you want to take a look before you start creating your own report so you get more familiar with the metrics that are included here. When you click here on create a report, an automatic template will be displayed. You will find more information about the content of this template and you will um, be able also to navigate, to navigate here through the six pages that are integrated in this report. If you need to go uh, and take a look to the metrics and the mentioned list, you have a direct button to do so. You also have a guide integrated to this template you can also discover more about Google Data Studio if it is your first time or probably you're not familiar with this tool at all. And here you have more templates, more inspiration, a full gallery full of useful templates with real use cases. And here you have also the help center or if you uh, need extra help, you can contact the support. This report template is pretty similar to the one that we uh, discovered just minutes ago. But here you can go through um, different types of analysis, such the page audience, page engagement, page reactions, video performance. So there is a single page for every specific use case. And here you have all information and also have some um, dynamic graphs such as this one that is showing you over the time the performance of this metric that is rich. How you integrate those? Well, it's super easy. You just have to replace the metric if probably is not one of the ones you thought as the main objective for your campaign. And here you can integrate a different chart. So this chart is a line chart and now um, it was reduced to fit in here. So every time you are showing numbers, make sure you have here displayed the, the, the information about the time that you are reporting and also try to integrate the filters that are necessary for the easy navigation for, of your report. Now that you know what are these metrics and you have created your first report and you also explored Google Data Studio, let's take a look to another connector. Now let's um, dig into the Instagram Insights connector and all these metrics that are integrated here to create an, a meaningful report. 